Well, they say what happens in Vegas is supposed to stay in Vegas. Well, ladies and gentlemen, not this time. I'm about to go up here and give a bad review to a hotel casino in Las Vegas because it was that bad that it should not stay in Vegas. And we're just going to dive right on into this video. Please subscribe if you're new to my channel. Please save yourself the money. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about a damn treasure island. And what you guys are looking at right now is a line that goes from the front desk all the way around the damn casino. As me and my wife are trying to catch the elevator back up to our hotel late at night, about 10 o'clock Vegas time, we meet this lady who tells us it took her four hours to check in. Ladies and gentlemen, you would think that that would be the worst of this story, but it's not. Okay, okay, and if somebody from the hotel jumps up here and says, well, you know, it's Christmas time and we're shorthanded because of the pandemic, I got a whole lot more heat for y'all at the end of this video. Because number one, you knew it was about to be Christmas and New Year's, you should have shored up your staff. And if you can't shore up the staff because of the pandemic, you should have had a keyless check-in kiosk so that people can just check in without having to stand in these damn lines, okay? So that's an issue, all right? Now, what were the issues we was having in the room? And let me just start from, if you do a Priceline booking, what Priceline doesn't tell you is that when you get there, you're going to have a hotel uh, reservation fee. Or um, what is this fee called? Let me pull it out right here. Um, a hotel resort fee. That's what it's called. And when you get there, they give you this pretty envelope. See that? And then just so that the people don't be trying to say he's making shit up, this was my room. I was in three, 337, all right? See that? And they tell you what is included in that resort fee. So what does this thing say? It says unlimited Wi-Fi internet access, daily access to the fitness center, two-for-one cocktail, daily newspaper, in-room local and toll-free calls, printing access, copies and fax, up to 10 pages, always free valet parking, okay? We don't care about none of that except for the internet because my wife, who is a doctor, is still trying to do a little bit of work on this vacation and I'm a YouTuber and I was supposed to do my high town review, but of course we had some internet issues. But you would think that's the worst. It's not. Okay, when we first get into the room, when we first get there, the bath, the toilet is running. Can't make this stuff up. It's running. Not only is the toilet running, but the sink is stopped up. My wife is turning on the water, the sink steadily coming up. So I do make a call downstairs and they sent somebody up, but I didn't tell them about the running toilet. I did tell them that the sink wouldn't drain. But when the guy gets up there, I tell him, I was like, sir, by the way, I forgot to mention to them on the phone that the toilet is running. Oh, well, you didn't tell them that on the phone. And I'm like, mf -er. I'm trying to save y'all some water bill money so this water don't keep running like it's going to run to Kansas City and score a damn touchdown. Well, next time you need to tell them, man, fix the damn toilet. Fix the drain. He fixed it begrudgingly. Okay? So that was when we first walked in the door. I hadn't even tried to use the internet yet. Okay? Next problem. So that's problem number one. Well, really problem number two. Because that four-hour wait line is a huge problem. And then we get in the room, we got this, these two problems. So that's three problems already, all right? Next problem. Can't make this stuff up, man. You cannot make this stuff up. We plug in the fire stick to the TV. You people that have been to Vegas recently or any one of these hotels trying to nickel and dime your ass, you know what I'm about to say. You cannot turn the TV to an HDMI port to allow you access to your fire TV stick. So you know what I do? I call down there and ask. And they was like, no, we don't do that anymore. So that's a problem for me right there. That, that almost ruins our damn trip because we are homebodies. My wife is the reason I'm even reviewing TV shows because she's the one when she's doing her clinical works and just letting stuff play in the background, she finds these TV shows that get us caught up into watching fine TV. She found damages. 
She found Game of Thrones. She turned me on to Hightown. She turned me on to power. Hmm. This is what we do when we're on vacation. This is the one of the foundations of our relationship. So we can't use that. So I'm really pissed at this point. But on the TV, it has a new feature on the button called cast. So I click cast. I try to cast my cell phone to the TV so that we can still watch our streaming services. Guess what? That ain't working. I call down there. They tell me that's a new service. Call the front desk. They say it's a new service. Not working. We're going to take it off your TV. Okay. You know what? Fine. We're going to make do with that. We decide we're going to watch programs on our computer and our iPad. Because I got a beef with T-Mobile too. I got unlimited hotspot at 5G. Because we was in a corner room. I can't even get my 5G service in there. And I have heard, now I can't substantiate this, but I have heard from some of my technical geeks that these hotels put dampeners in there to slow down your phone's Wi-Fi hotspotting. Now, I don't know if that's possible, but I have read in some blogs and I talked to one geek who said it's absolutely possible. I can't confirm that Treasure Island was doing that, but all I know is this. I just left Las Vegas with James three months ago to see the Miami Dolphins play the Raiders. Had no problem with my T-Mobile hotspot in the Hilton Garden Hotel. It's not even working in Treasure Island. So we try to use their internet service, which I just read you on this paper. is part of the resort fee that was $174, which covered four days. All right. The bitch ain't working. Every time you log into something like a streaming service, it works for like two minutes, boot you out, and then this comes back on the screen. You got to try to sign back in. Okay, we call down to the front desk again. And they was like, we're going to reboot your system. You're going to be off and rolling. You're going to be working. You think that worked? Absolutely not. And by this point in time, Crystal is mad as fire. I mean, man, she mad as a light bug stuck in a glass jar. She calls them five times because every time they claim it was fixed and it wasn't, she calls right back down there. And they never fixed the problem. They didn't offer us any solutions. They said they would send a tech dude up there. They never send his ass. And then at one point in time, they wasn't even trying to pick up the phone when we called, okay? So right now we're mad our trip's ruined because of that. Let's talk about that they have a mandate in Las Vegas to wear the mask. Just because of the uptick in the Omicron variant and that this is a worldwide tourist attraction. Do you think that anybody was in foreskin mask wearing in our hotel? Fuck no. And when you have these mandates, you're supposed to ensure that only so many people get on the elevator. And they have people standing by the doors of the elevators checking your car to make sure you are in the hotel going up the elevator. Well, first of all, them dudes need to be fired. You know why? Because their ass wasn't checking shit. And if anything, they should have been checking those elevators to make sure that a certain amount of people was getting in. But you know what? I'll, I won't even add that to the list. I'll just say this. They have one set of elevators that takes you from floor number one to 15. Then they got another set that takes you from 15 to 30. And then on the other hall, they got another set that takes you to higher levels. There's four elevators for each one. So four for one through 15, four for 15 through 30. And we're on the 30th floor. Why is it that two of the damn elevators are broke? In the height of people standing in a four hour line trying to get into this bum ass hotel. Why? So I'm pissed, man. I'm really pissed. Not to mention when I'm trying to get on the hotel, when Crystal was trying to get on the hotel, you had rednecks from plain old West Virginia coughing, no mask, fussing with her husband. He's coughing, no mask. Who the hell you think about to get on the elevator with them? And nobody's there to say you need to put your mask on. First of all, you should have enough common decency to put on your mask in the first place without someone having to enforce it. Okay, so that ain't there. We know human beings have showed their ass these last two years and they ain't going to do nothing right. 
So, you know, if you're not vaccinated, fine, don't vaccinate. But at least wear your mask when you know you're going to be in a place with a whole lot of people in clothes and getting into an elevator. And then on top of that, you're coughing with your toothless ass. Huh. So while Chris was trying to get on that elevator, I say, you know what, let me go check out this shop. Uh, what was the name of the shop I was going to? It was Molina's Yogurt Plus because I heard they got some of the best yogurts and cakes and delicious treats. And I've been dieting for the last six weeks and haven't really been eating stuff. I saved all my calories for this trip. I go to Molina's on the first day we got there. And we was there for what? Four days. We was there from Sunday through Thursday. Why is it that I go to this yogurt shop? They got one toothless redneck lady from West Virginia working in, the, working in this shop with another line coming out the shop around the building. But ladies and gentlemen, that's not the worst. The worst is, why the hell is it taking this woman ass three minutes to scoop one scoop of ice cream? She's in there like this. Bitch, scoop the ice cream. She was doing that mess that you all have seen in probably Walmart or any other spine store in America. When you know their ass don't want to work, they try to take their sweet time doing everything so that people just go away. Well, you know what? I was self-serving to her needs because I walked up in front of the line just to see why was the line so long. And it's just her in there working by herself, scooping one scoop of ice cream, taking three minutes. So you know what I said? Forget it. I'll come back tomorrow. But guess what, ladies and gentlemen? I come back tomorrow, the day after that, and the day after that, and the shop wasn't open anymore. Damn, I guess COVID got it. So I was frustrated by that. Having said all that, ladies and gentlemen, I wrote a scathing review on Yelp and I did one on Google about this hotel because for the amount of money that you're going to be charged across the board from the resort fee to what you pay online to them or the price line, you got to do better than this. You got to do better than this. And someone who's in the brass of the hotel can call me up or hit me up on email or just I or, or hit me on IG, DM me. Um, and, and, and do something to say that, you know, you're sorry about this and it shouldn't have happened. Let me know. So did me and my wife have anything that we enjoyed for the trip? We had a couple of things. So in Treasure Island, they've got this new Marvel exhibit. So I show up and go in there and had a little fun. That was probably one of the best parts of the trip. And in there, they wasn't playing about COVID. If you had your mask down just below your nose, they was making you put your mask on. And I was happy with that. Thank goodness somebody within this hotel is doing something right. And then after that, me and my wife went on this little hog food tour where you ride these little scooters and it was fun. Take a look. L, this is for you. It's mommy. Hello, baby. She's driving in Vegas. How are you enjoying yourself, mother? Very much. Yep. Good time. She good can't time. drive. Oh, please. We're going to sit here and watch mommy drive. Oh, please. <laughs> We're going to wait for that light to turn green. Then mommy going to floor it. Uh-oh, here we go. all that speed feel mommy oh, goodness. <laughs> so yeah though that was pretty much the highlight of this trip we also wound up going to eat the buffet at the Bellagio and ladies and gentlemen let me save you some money on that there is no good buffet in Las Vegas you're gonna be getting hit in the head for $65 or more per person to go to buffet that gives you the same food you can go get at Golden Corral for 20 bucks don't even waste your money 
but we did wind up going to one of my favorite restaurants in all the world in Las Vegas called Firefly. They sell tapas. That was excellent. So in the midst of all this downtroddenness we had, because it was just us, and this was my wife's first trip um, since 2019, when we went to see Larry in Washington, D.C., it's the first time my wife has been anywhere because she had the baby, then we had corona, we still got corona, but we wore a mask, and then we got tested on our way back and we both was negative. This was our first time getting out, so I was at, at least happy that we was able to enjoy each other, even though we didn't have the amenities that was promised to us. So ladies and gentlemen, post me all your comments. Let me know, have you stayed at Treasure Island before? And oh, one more thing. In order to get a microwave in your room, now mind you, they charge you this resort fee. You got to pay like another 45 to $50 per day just to get a microwave in your room. What the hell, man? Mm -mm -mm. My advice to you all, if you're going to stay in Vegas, stay off strip. My experiences with staying in hotels off strip have all been excellent, and that would be my advice to you. Having said that, Happy New Year. I am back. I'm going to try to step my review game up with not just Power. I'm going to be trying to do a little bit more Marvel, some other movies, and some other TV shows. We just got done with Hightown, and Rebecca Cutter is going to be here tomorrow. So please come check me out live at 9 p.m. Guaranteed to be fun. She's the show creator and runner for Hightown. But this video was about saving you guys money when you go to Vegas because you want what happens in Vegas to stay in Vegas. But if it's a bad experience, that shit has got to be told. And I hardly use my channel for this type of thing, but I had to this time. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like the video. Please comment, subscribe, get yourself that life game. I'm back. Let me know what other shows you guys are watching so I can review them and help you out. And until that next sex is hell video, I'll see you.